first three three-point attempts, and since then he's stuck with it. <laughs> that is remarkable that a guy can shoot with either hand and switch seemingly in postseason play right. and have such success. Renfro tentative, but this one is good. To get out and run, and the mean green doing a nice job attacking downhill, getting high percentage shots inside. Miller has six. Here's Ferrari. A running one hander in traffic, and it's good. Yesterday, he's a fighter. He may be banged up, but he's not going to go away. We're seeing that in the second half. Right to it for three for the corner. This guy been all week. Where has he been? He's come in giving great minutes, four points, key box out, doing the job defensively. And they're smart. Pumped up. Great execution. The back screen brought Simmons free. And already early the first possession, you see more ball and body movement from the mean green. Quick find inside. McCarthy down low against Simmons. Little dream shake and with a jump hook. Uh, it's one of the special places to play college basketball. The Oakland Zoo, the Peterson Event Center. A great crowd, great student body. Good times ahead there in Pittsburgh. It's a different sequence. It's a different feel when you play a series at the collegiate level. It's the only one of its kind. Ferrari off the pump bank. Beautifully excellent. And also, don't forget to tip off your weekend with our NBA Friday doubleheader, 8 o'clock Eastern. LeBron and the Cavs host the Pelicans, Clippers, Blazers at 10.30, also streaming live on the ESPN app as Ferrari. Today, seven for seven shooting the three, the big guy. His brother Kim played at the University of Utah. Brother Kevin was a two time volleyball champ over at Cal Irvine. Frankie Ferrari. Little Frankie, man. Little Frankie's not going to bat number one in the country. And we took so much out of them that, like 36 hours later, they got beat by North Carolina, Charlotte, Cornbread Maxwell. They're going to be the final four. Maybe the same Sweet 16. Renfro nice gives it up and McCarthy finishes. I mean, you're watching a real. You know, Kyle Smith was talking about Hachimura too, just saying their bench had no answer, could not compete with him. They have to do a better job when the bench comes in, and they simply ha can't handle that kind of firepower. If they keep on shooting like that, they got no chance, they said. On the Gonzaga side. Now, with that matchup, you know, Towns, as we said, a big body now. You know, Lowell's got to kind of respond at the offensive end of the floor, post up, and, and be a target in there. Towns trying to front it. That's Foster to the basket. Point lead for the Tigers. Frankie Ferrari, beautiful. Lowell with the finish. made the pass so now we're tied now we're tied so again we've been saying it all along both of us have said it I mean the game is still there for 
Either team can get hot. There's that same play we saw a moment ago. Just an interesting emotional night for both Randy Bennett and Kyle Smith. Frankie Ferrari with the balls. USF wins the opening tip. Go inside to Matt McCarthy, the Aussie for USF. Of course, St. Mary's has six of their own. Nice pass to cutting Jordan Retino. What you did not see, you know, from Fenster or any of the guys in the Gonzaga game as well, you know, they couldn't relieve any of the pressure off Jock, you know, in that Gonzaga game. And one for Nate Renfro. Have to do Fagan, and the guy rolls to the rim, and he's what 6'11. Fagan's got the wherewithal to find you. Yes, he does. He is playing. Oh, I would say a perfect pass. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's played unbelievable. The Broncos doing a nice job splitting, and there's a beautiful Matt McCarthy in the post is always a good option to run your pick and roll with Frankie Ferrari. Rotino on the backdoor cut gets the layup to go in one minute. Turnover, he left his feet this time going downhill, turning the corner, using his speed and quickness and agility to get to the paint, finishing with the left hand. They feed Rotino to the basket. <laughs> Maturity at his finest right there. And that's why you love guys that can really think and understand the game of basketball. And that's what you're seeing out of Jock Landale. A lot of guys will be chasing numbers and stats right now, but he's just playing the right way. And that's contagious. Because your best player playing the right way, everybody else must.